Christian Beck. I'm Chief Scientific Officer at the uh, Parkinson's Foundation and I want to tell you a little bit about the brain, how it works, and how Parkinson's disease can impact it. The purpose of the brain really is to incorporate uh, senses from the outside world and allow you to uh, integrate those and then to act upon them. They're almost like gears, if you can imagine that, in your head, which would allow you to uh, move as you need to. But with Parkinson's disease, it's as, if, it's as if those gears become rusty, and movement becomes much more difficult, and as a result, you now need to um, take medication in order to provide that lubrication in order to allow those gears to, to turn smoothly as before. Unfortunately, the medication you take isn't able to stop this disease process, this rusting. And so uh, people with Parkinson's disease face a, 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 a battle where movement becomes more difficult as their disease progresses. At the Parkinson's Foundation, what we're doing is funding research to really understand the heart of what Parkinson's disease is. What does it mean to have Parkinson's disease? How does it really affect the brain? We're looking at every level from the individual cells to the whole person in trying to understand Parkinson's disease through research. So one of the things we've been looking at uh, research is trying to understand on a cellular level how do proteins uh, get damaged as part of Parkinson's disease. One in particular is called alpha-synuclein. It seems to play such a critical role in Parkinson's disease. We're interested in other proteins and how processes in the cell, which are almost like little factories, go awry. And when those little factories begin to shut down, the neurons begin to die, the brain cells begin to die. And as a result, Parkinson's disease progresses. We're working to try to understand what is going on, what's going wrong with that process so that we can potentially stop it.